Some of you might notice 16 inch gaming laptops are getting more common nowadays ever since panel suppliers start to offer it to the laptop manufacturers. Today we are taking a look at the RG Zephyrus M16 which is their very first 16 inch gaming laptop. RG basically replaces the G15's panel with this brand new 16 inch by shrinking all the bezels. While the Zephyrus G series is powered by AMD Ryzen, the Zephyrus M series will have Intel Core processor which our review sample comes with the 11 gen Intel Core i9-11900H and Nvidia GeForce RTX 3070. The key highlight is no other than this beautiful 16 inch 16x10 1600p display. That is a lot of 16. It is a slightly higher resolution than 1440p. At a 165Hz refresh rate, this is the most balanced option that checks both high resolution as well as high refresh rates. Unless you are playing competitive FPS games, chances are you might not need 240Hz or even 300Hz display. On the other hand, 4K panels might look amazing in person, however, it is extremely punishing for the laptop GPU to push all that resolution. Until the day we finally got the GPU raw performance to push all that resolution, right now 2K is the answer. Even though some might suggest that 165Hz is still overkill since graphical demanding games probably will only run at 60 frames at the higher settings. This is more like how you juggle the balance between the game settings and your preferred FPS. I would say fluid animation and crisp details is the most important factor for everyday gamers. The screen of the Zephyrus M16 offers very good color space coverage at 100% sRGB, excellent for multimedia consumption and casual graphics editing work. Most importantly, it has a 16 by 10 aspect ratio for more vertical screen real estate. Like what I mentioned at the beginning of this review, this is basically a ROG Zephyrus G15 chassis. Look, I have nothing to go against ROG if they decided to reuse their most popular laptop chassis. This is acceptable since it has all the features you might need. Ergolift, plenty of IO options, and they even bring back the webcam. You know, nowadays, conference calls and all those web classes and everything, you need webcam. I have nothing major to complain except a minor improvement suggestion such as add one USB Type-C port to the right side. The keyboard has minimal flex and provides a decent typing experience. Each of the keys has a good travel distance and clear actuation point. The power button is separated from the typing zone and has an integrated fingerprint scanner that is supported by Windows Hello. If you wanted a numpad, perhaps you need to look for external solutions such as external keyboard. I just hope they can choose another type of surface finish because right now our oily palm and fingers will leave marks on the soft touch surface. Compared with other gaming laptops, the M16's trackpad is actually comparable with other Ultrabooks. It is not like they are trying to encourage you to use the trackpad for games, but at least you have a better trackpad user experience when you're using the laptop without a mouse. Now let's talk about the performance. While we don't have any 10th gen Intel Core i9 processor to compare with, we can see that Intel is finally caught up with AMD in regards to the multi-core performance. That should provide a better experience for those applications that take advantage of multi-threads. Undeniably, it has the best single core performance out of all the laptop CPUs we have ever tested. The PC Mark 10 score is for reference, even though it was rated lower than the G15, personally I think their difference is not that apparent in everyday usage. 3D Mark shows the obvious gap among the RTX 3070 with a different maximum TGP. Lower TGP means better efficiency, however you are sacrificing the maximum potential of the GPU in exchange for lower temperature and fan noise. As for gaming, we were unable to lock the frame rates of Call of Duty Warzone due to the recent anti-cheat update to the game. Generally speaking, the RTX 3070 at 100 watt max TGP is doing remarkably well in some games 
whereby it can go toe to toe with the RTX 3080 100 watt max TGP. In other words, the RTX 3070 is probably at a sweet spot while the RTX 3080 will only be better if it runs at higher TGP with more thermal headroom. During our entire gaming test and benchmark session, on average, the CPU and GPU stays within the 80 degrees Celsius range. Even though the CPU has a couple of momentarily temperature spike up to 96 degrees Celsius, that only happens in a short period of time. It is not like the temperature is keeping at 96 for more than half an hour or so, and in real life situation, it doesn't really go that high for all the time. There are reports of how ROG is ramping up the maximum fan speed to keep the temperature low. Honestly, I don't think this is a problem as long as they are not trying to make it sound like a jet engine. Then again, this brings us to the next question. If this laptop is capable of handling both CPU and GPU and keep it at somewhere around 80 degrees Celsius, why are they not pushing the GPU to go further? For example, let it go for maximum TGP 120 watt. Are they trying to protect their ROG SCAR series from being cannibalized by the uh, Zephyrus? Who knows? A single full charge of the 90 watt hour battery is capable of providing you with somewhere around 5 hours of usage. That usage is of course limited to your normal web browsing and perhaps some content streaming on YouTube or Netflix. If you ever decide to not stream content, of course you can extend its battery life to somewhere around 6 hours plus. Then again, if you want to play games on battery, I would not suggest you, even though you do can extract about 90 minutes of battery life out of it, but the gaming experience will not be as good as when you plug it into a wall. And now the price. There are two variants of Zephyrus M16 available in Malaysia. RTX 3060 with 16 gigs of RAM, 1 terabyte SSD. It starts at 8,999 ringgit Malaysia, and it goes up to 11,499 ringgit Malaysia for our review sample. RTX 3070, 32 gigs of RAM, and 2 terabytes of SSD. The RG Zephyrus is for those who are looking for a hybrid productivity and gaming laptop. It is the perfect combination between an Ultrabook and a gaming laptop. The 16 inch display is high quality, fast and color accurate. Of course, nothing is perfect. There are some points you will need to take note of if you ever decide to purchase this. Number one is one of the RAM sticks is soldered to the motherboard. The second thing is if you solely wanted a gaming laptop for your gaming purposes, you don't really care about the design, the laptop weight and the laptop thickness. Perhaps you might get something better performance to this compared to this one. If you want the design lightweight, the Zephyrus is for you. Otherwise, raw performance, maybe look for something else. So what do you guys think about the RG Zephyrus M16? Again, this is a perfect laptop for those who want two-in-one Ultrabook and gaming laptop. And uh, do let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. And I will see you guys in the next video.